everybody, this is Joanne, and as a cell biologist who has done a lot of cell culture in the hopes of working towards engineering tissue instead of relying upon organ donors for replacements, I have a lot of interest in stem cells and have been following the field since my early academic career. Um, and I always love it when I can find a book that explains to the layperson how important stem cells are to the future of regenerative medicine. And what a plus to find a book that captures the excitement and the personalities of the people who are working in the field. And so that's what I offer you today, a book called The Stem Cell Hope, How Stem Cell Medicine Can Change Our Lives by Alice Park, who is a wonderful science writer and you can see her writings uh, sprinkled all over the place. I definitely enjoyed this book because she really took the time to understand the field. She started with Doug Melton, who uh, was motivated by his child's diabetes, to begin researching into stem cells as a way to cure diabetes, type 1 diabetes especially. And then she interviewed every big player, including Jim Thompson, who is known for being able to take human embryonic stem cells and to grow them in culture and to make them something that researchers would be able to use. She followed the rise and fall of the Korean researcher who claimed to be able to isolate uh, human stem cells quite easily, but actually turned out to be quite fraudulent. And then she also uh, reaches all the way to the modern day where we have uh, Yamanaka, who is able to take normal skin cells from a human and change them so that they can sort of revert back to a stem cell state and this is called induced pluripotent stem cells. The book is just so much more than a follow-through of everything that has happened. It follows all the political issues, the ethical issues, as well as the excitement of the field and I cannot recommend this book more highly. Uh, the field is moving so quickly that you do want to read the most current book in the field and to that end, I highly recommend the very readable, the very enjoyable, The Stem Cell Hope. Thanks for listening. Bye.